This is Corolla Digital. Socrates, Buddha, Lombardi, great teachers, mentors, and coaches throughout history. Joined now by Adam Carolla. Don't do your best, do my best. Time to be motivated, inspired, and get wise. It's time to take a knee. Yeah, get it on. Got to get it on. No choice but get on. Mandate, get it on. And welcome to our inspirational, motivational podcast. It's Take a Knee. Kevin Harrington is our guest. He's an entrepreneur. He has a very high net worth. I won't embarrass him by saying how much. He has a book out, or it's coming out. It's called Mentor to Millions, Secrets of Success in Business, Relationships, and Beyond. You can pre-order it now on Amazon. It'll be available in uh, September, but uh, let's go ahead and pre-order it now. That's what I'd like. And the website, mentortomillionsbook.com. Uh, let's see, Shark Tank, first two seasons, am I right? I'm just going to go yes. going off memory here. And, and then, so that was the original shows that were on ABC, and then all those reruns um, continue to rerun for years now on CNBC. So I'm, you'll, you'll see me on CNBC every week generally, because I, I did, you know, quite, you know, we, we shot about 170 segments um, and there's five segments to a one hour show. So there's about, you know, dozens of one hour shows out there with me in them. Right. So. Sorry, my uh, little note stand fell over, but anyway, I'll, I'll JB weld it together. Little sponsor plug there. So uh, let's talk about you, and let's talk. I'm going to try to snap this thing together whilst I talk. And the uh, entrepreneurial spirit. It, it saddens me that so many people they 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 want to make money, but they don't know anything about that that world. And I'm not sure. Mm. I, I, it's, it's a, it's a, it feels like a dirty little secret to me. Like I know firsthand because I'm living in it now to a degree and I grew up in a vacuum of it. I never knew anyone who taught, I didn't hear the word entrepreneurial. I didn't even have business. It was never discussed. It was, you get a job, you get a job and you get that job and hopefully you start at seven dollars an hour, and at some point you work your way up to thirteen fifty an hour, and that's your career. That's, that's and yeah. and it, it's such a weird secret. And I feel like the handful of people that know about it, they take it and run with it, and then everyone else is just confused. Why isn't that <laughs> more part of the curriculum? You know, it it should be, Adam. In fact, when when I um, when I go back to I was sitting in, in, I was in college and um, I, I, third year, I was doing well. I told my mom I'm quitting school because I'm an entrepreneur and I'm going to continue. I had a a business when I was in college that grew to 25 employees. And um, so she, she's like, well, I can't believe you're going to quit school. You're, 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 your older sister is married to a doctor. Your other sister's married to a lawyer. Your brother's a big corporate executive. You're going to be the, the black sheep, but the entrepreneur in the family. What's, what, what's this all about? I said, but I'm creating this direct to the consumer business also. And she's like, what do you direct to the consumer? I mean, it's not going to be sold in stores. And that's really what the as seen on TV business is all about it. You know, I, I, I'm the, the guy that back in the early eighties saw that, television stations were, were cutting off at certain hours of the night and going dark. And I started buying up all that downtime and putting products in there direct to the consumer. So we would find a product with an, an inventor would come to us. We would put that product, shoot an infomercial, put it on that TV spot, ship it, manufacture it, and then bring it into the country, ship direct to the consumer. And, and by the way, this is what Amazon has done, which is, hurting many of the retail outlets now for this is pre COVID. Um, you know, Amazon has, has just been crushing a lot of these retailers. So the good news is I've got 38 years of my background, which is selling direct to the consumer. And, and I, I, I say I'm BA before Amazon hmm. by 10 years. Okay. So 
What was some of your first products? So one of the first ones was a product called the Food Saver. It's a vacuum food oh, sealer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We did that one back in the early mid eighties. Then I ran into um, Billy Mays at the Philadelphia Home Show, sure. and we did dozens of projects with Billy Mays, um, and that, he was a lot of fun. But Tony Little and the fitness products. Technique. We did- technique. Technique. Yeah, you can do it. Right. The, the gazelle. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, we did the gazelle, we did the target training, um, and and then Jack Lalane came along. We did the juicer, and um, I've done a ton of stuff with George Foreman uh, right now. With George, we're selling the knockout pain cream with CBD infused. So, um, and of course, I can't tell you about products without talking about Chris Jenner, Kim Kardashian. Chris called me up in 1991 and said, I want to do infomercials because we've been out there doing Tony Little and Jack LaLanne and all these things. So we started doing fitness shows um, with the Jenners and, um, and, and we did, you know, about a dozen projects with them, hundreds and hundreds of millions. Uh, so um, yeah, just, you know, across the board. And, and when 50 Cent launched his headphones, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he came to me and we launched his headphone line. So, so we, we deal with inventors, we deal with celebrities, we deal with everyone in between. The, I never, I don't have much Kardashian connection, but I'm not dismissive of them because I say in a weird way, they are the American dream. And mm-hmm. I don't, I don't mean that I'm not being cute. I mean it like they're yeah. they're they've come to this country. Their family has come to this country. They don't have a, a gift per se other than a sort of gift for business, you know, and they figured out a way to parlay that into millions and billions of dollars. So I have great respect for them. And in a way, you take what LeBron James or Michael Jordan does, and that's great. But they're gifted athletes who then have a, a head for business. These right. girls aren't necessarily gift. They're not gifted athletes. They have a head for business. They have a body for business, too. Let's be honest. But right, right. but it's amazing. They what have a they- mom for business also, because Chris is a driving force in, in the beginning of those deals, too. Yeah. So what is that? Like, was she always that way? How did she become that way? She was married to Robert Shapiro. She was a housewife. Then she married Bruce Jenner at the time. Yeah. What, what, where did she come from? So, so she really, when I met uh, Chris and Bruce at the time, um, they came into my office. Oh, sorry. Robert Kardashian. I I got Robert. I got the wrong member of the dream team. Right, 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 yeah, Robert right, Kardashian, Robert. not Robert. Shapiro. Yeah, Kardashian. So, right. um, so w- Chris was really Bruce's manager. So she she came into the office. Bruce came in, and she's like, "Look, Bruce is the Catalan champion. This 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 it, he is it, it's such a a revered athlete in the United States on the Wheaties box, but he has never endorsed a physical product. What do you have that you could?" let us endorse. And that week, an inventor had stopped into my office and he had this little stepper product that had pistons and and we were calling it the stair climber. Mm -hmm. So it just had the little pistons on the floor. I showed it to the, to the Jenners. They flipped about it. We called it the stair climber plus shot the infomercial. It did $250 million in sales. So that was their first infomercial. And then they're like, when can we do another one? We did another and another and another, and we just started pounding out infomercials with the Jenners. Was Bruce the subject of the first few you did, and then at some point the rest of the Jenners started creeping in? Well, so no, it, it was it was Bruce and Chris, the, the two of them side by side. Mm-hmm. And, and so it, what was interesting is Chris, we negotiated with Chris, not Bruce. Chris sort of, again, was Bruce's manager and she was getting him out on speaking gigs. And she said, Oh, last week we were at Coca-Cola in Atlanta and Bruce loves speaking, but he really would like something that has continuity where he can get paid without having to, you know, to to, to 